system approaching perfection. We'll walk deeper into the belly of the beast if it means I'm able to trust All right, man, this is Danny at the Crypto Show, and I'm here with Chris Hauser. And I did pronounce that right. You got it. Yeah. All right. I got it the first time. See? <laughs> so it's rare. Maybe 25% uh, of the time. Really? So I like it. It looks pretty simple. To, <laughs> pretty much simple. Um, so you're working with Polymath. Correct. Uh, tell me what Polymath is and what they hope to solve in the blockchain space. Yeah, so I'm a lawyer by background. I've been in the in the crypto scene since 2013. Uh, I've seen you around. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I, I quit my law job at the start of last year just to do sort of blockchain related things because that's yeah. what I was passionate about. And, oh, well, so before we go on, how do you feel about that? Because I'm I'm 100% crypto too. It all so all my income is in crypto, and it's uh, it's a little harder, but it's a little liberating. How do you find it? That's, I love it. It's what I was passionate about since I since I got into crypto. I went down the rabbit hole. I always wanted to just read the next article about Bitcoin, the next thing about blockchain, right. all these other companies working in the space, rather than working on construction lean actions or other types of uh, legal memorandums I was doing. So yeah, for the past five years, I've been really passionate about crypto. And at the start of last year, I said, okay, I've had enough. I can't do this law job anymore. I need to go full time into uh, blockchain activities. That's absolutely awesome. All right. And so, so what what is Polymath? Then? Yeah. So I, I started Polymath a year ago with my, my co-founder Trevor, and it's what it is. It's a platform to really facilitate companies and entities to create security tokens on the blockchain. Right. And so, like starting ICOs and how they. When, what to do and what not to do. Does this just like solve all of their legal problems? And are you coming at this from a legal aspect? Yeah, from a legal and a technology aspect. And these ICOs that have happened for the past uh, four or five years, they're not regulatory friendly. They're it's sort of the wild west. They're skirting around the regulations. And what we're doing at Polymath, we're we're, we're not calling them ICOs, but STOs or security token offerings. So helping companies follow the regulations right. to be compliant with the regulations in their particular jurisdiction. Oh, okay. So you're just coming right out of the box. Yeah, we're a security, right? We're, we're helping companies that want to issue securities do so. Yes. Awesome. So, I mean, are you guys kind of like the ICO that creates ICOs? Because for me, that was a joke for a long time. <laughs> on, on the show, I would... You know, it's kind of one of the taglines is, yeah, I'm going to start an ICO that starts ICOs that starts ICOs. I, is that kind of what, because I see a lot of that popping up. These there are a few like that. Yeah, so we're, we're a decentralized platform that makes it easy for companies to create security token offerings. They still need legal uh, guidance, so we don't do the legal work for them, but we have a number of legal providers on our system, so third-party law firms that can help pro provide them the guidance for who can you sell your token to, how long must they hold that token before it's transferable? Uh, what sort of documentation do you need? What sort of financial disclosures do you need? And so they'll put all those in place for the issuing entities, and then they're able to work with the regulators to have compliant offerings as opposed to what I imagine a lot of these ICOs are, uh, which is not necessarily compliant. So, I mean, do they just do they come to you with the basic idea, and then you take it from there to help them move into to what they're trying to create? Yeah, so they'll come to our platform, they'll click what they want to do, and it'll say, okay, you're obviously a security token, here's who you should link up for, for legal guidance. Who's who, who, here's who you should link up with for KYC verification. KYC is a major portion of our platform, is to okay. hold a security token, you need to be a verified investor. So you, you need your, to, your website's kind of a guidance place. You just, it's like a one-stop for, okay. The one-stop so, one -stop shop for security tokens. And it links you up with the right parties to, to get your legal, to get your KYC, uh, marketing if that's what you need, and any other uh, services that your token may need. So, but you guys were not an ICO. Are you guys an ICO, or is it you were already out there running? No, we're, we're, we're out there. We're just a decentralized platform. Uh, it's run on Ethereum, so we're an Ethereum-based smart contract. Mm -hmm. And then in the future, we may look to go to other blockchains as well and become blockchain agnostic.